Around us is a world moving too fast to glimpse. So everybody has always known that these small time scales existed, but we didn't have any tools to actually observe them. Adrenaline kickstarts our reflexes. But adrenaline can have a deeper impact by acting on the brain itself and on how we perceive and experience time. To find out how, scientists are probing a shorter time scale, lasting only seconds. So the key is he's going to close his eyes, think from the moment of dropping, the moment of landing. David Eagleman, okay, a neuroscientist, is studying how adrenaline affects our perception of time itself. Okay. So if you put your hand out straight, good, stick it right in there. Perfect. When people get into car accidents, they report that things seem to have gone in slow motion. This is typically what happens when somebody is sliding towards a brick wall or a semi-truck and they feel like time has expanded and that things are running in slow motion. Okay. We want to understand whether time dilates in very scary moments, but you can't stick subjects in a car accident. So we tried doing this with roller coasters, we tried this with different sorts of video games on the computer. Those weren't scary enough. <laughs> what we finally landed on was a 150 foot free fall. It's called SCAD diving, suspended catch air device diving. And you plummet from 150 feet and you land in a net. Okay. Chess Stetson, one of Eagleman's grad students, has been enlisted to test the apparatus. Now on the way down, there's going to be lots of distracting things happening, like you're falling. Okay. <laughs> His assessment of the experiment? All systems are go. Let the real test begin. The real panic sets in when they start falling, because that's when you realize that you have nothing to hold on to. That's when time gets distorted. Can the human mind actually slow time down? We know that adrenaline soups up our muscles and nervous system. Keep your eyes on the but numbers. Eagleman wants to know whether it also increases the speed of our brain and the amount of information it can take in from the senses. If people's brains were like a movie camera, then if you sped up the camera to put things into slow motion, you would see things with more clarity in time. With greater clarity comes more information to select the best response and our best shot at survival. What made you guys come over here? Yes. What's your answer now on the nervousness part? Okay, keep your eyes on screen. Ah! Eagleman's subjects take the plunge, and sure enough, so does their ability to gauge time. All right, the last thing I want you to do is I want you to estimate the amount of time it took you to fall, press the yellow button when you hit the net in your imagination. Remarkably, most report the journey down took twice as long as it actually did. For them, time had indeed slowed down. Duration judgments can get fooled, and because an event is so frightening and important, and it recruits other parts of the brain, that makes you think retrospectively that the event must have lasted longer. So what, do you, what would you say your confidence was in the other uh, Okay. Under stress, we can be hyper-tuned to the moment. The jump was about a six. All right. The better to survive from one to the ten. next. All right, and on a scale of one to ten, how scary was that free fall? <laughs> ten. <laughs> that was a ten. <laughs> I don't have much anticipatory fear. Some people find the most scary part going up. I don't have any fear about going up. But during the actual fall, that is, uh, that's pure, pure panic. In three, two, one. 
fight or flight. The brain, it seems, has evolved to focus all its attention on making the right decision.